Hi, I'm just putting some strings on this guitar. It's an interesting guitar. It's one that we're going to be talking about today. And it incorporates some ideas that I was experimenting with, both in terms of playability and in terms of sound. So stay tuned if you're at all interested in experimental luthery. So this is a guitar that I made about 10 years ago, almost exactly 10 years ago, and it was one of a series of guitars I made that explores the air resonance of the instrument. Now, how do we do that? Well, first of all, you have to understand that there's a resonance for the air. And if, you know, for example, if you blew across that like a flute, it would give you a resonance. It's a pretty low resonance, okay? Now, the reason it's low, and in fact lower than if we had a sound hole right here in the normal position, is that the hole is farther away from the tail block, right? The longer the distance, the lower the note, okay? Like a pipe organ, you know, the big long pipes have really low resonances and the shorter pipes, especially the short small ones, have a very high resonance, okay? Same kind of thing with any instrument that has a resonating chamber and a hole. Okay, now in this case, I wanted to experiment with that and find out what would happen. I mean, I'd made guitars with sound holes up here before, and I had noticed that we had a much lower air resonance than we would have otherwise. So what I did was that I, I studied it, and I discovered that if you have a hole on each end that's, you know, the same size, right? Then what happens is that you double that frequency. Okay, so if we had 220 with one hole, we put a hole on the other side, then we discover that we've got 440. Okay, now I didn't want to go up to 440, but what I did want to do was increase it somewhat. So, I put these little holes in the bottom with sliders so that I could open up a smaller hole and increase the air cavity resonance somewhat, which, which it did. Now this, this, sound comparisons are gonna be weird. If you have a good set of headphones or a really nice speaker system, you might be able to pick this out. Um, it's more obvious sitting here, I'm right above the sound hole. So it's easy for me to hear. But if we have this closed, then we're gonna have the lowest air resonance possible out of this instrument. It's a relatively small sound hole. So that helps decrease that air resonance as well. In essence, what I'm hearing when I do this, and I have the hole open now, and I'm gonna just use my hand to cover the hole. I'm hearing is there's a kick down on the lowest note. It starts there's just this shift to a lower frequency coming up in volume. Okay, now that does affect the overall tone of the thing. It's 
So if you want a little bit mellower tone out of the instrument, then having this closed and only relying on this one sound hole is the way to go. Now these are brand new strings. They're, they're phosphor bronze strings <clears throat> and they're pretty bright. <laughs> So it's really just an exercise in seeing what the difference is. And that's really what making this guitar was about, or one of the things. There's also a playability issue that I was looking at. And that has to do with both the cutaway style. As you can see, there's a, a separate dish cut out of the cutaway so that it doesn't just come across straight like most cutaways do. And the other thing, if you can see it, is the contour of the neck, which continues this shaping behind here so that you can go all the way up with, with your hand. Okay, and that course is if you want to be playing up here. It's a 14 fret neck to the body joint here and then an extra hands width up in here. Now in terms of, of playing this does hit right here on the heel of the hand. So it's not perfect. There is a, a hand shift that's required to do that but you know can't have it all I have changed that in other instruments that I was building about that time where this just goes all the way across and there is not this point that point although kind of nice to look at <clears throat> in a sense does end up impeding the hand as it does on most of um, this style cutaway now personally I prefer this hole closed it gets quite bright to my ear with it open and I kind of like that West Montgomery sound with the thumb <laughs> Bit of, of thumbnail. Thank you.